Hi everyone, it's Ashley and I'm back for another Dollar Decor project and this time we're going to make another piece of artwork. And if you're like me, you like changing out your artwork, you want it to be cute and you know kind of current. So this one is actually kind of a metallic um, you know, piece of artwork and it's in a flower pattern. I actually saw one like this on Pinterest, um, but it was with a white background and I just thought it would be something really pretty to try. So, uh, this one actually requires very little in supplies, so it's a great one to use if you just have, you know, a canvas, some paint, and some foil, you know, basically laying around. You get free and expensive art. So, the first thing I did is I started with a canvas. This is an 8x10. You could also use a bigger one if you wanted, but because it's metallic, it's kind of good that it's in a smaller composition. It doesn't look overwhelming. I'm also using an easel to hold it up. You could use books or something else to hold it upright. Um, you'll want some aluminum foil. It doesn't require very much. So, you know, if you have a foot, you'd probably have plenty. Some brushes, except in this one, you could get away with just a foam brush. And this is really inexpensive, less than a dollar. You're also going to want some sort of paint, and I'm using folk art acrylic paint. Acrylic paint's great um, because it's really easy to clean up, and it, you know, it tends to look really nice. Um, I'm using the color black, but you could use any color that you prefer. I just think it's a beautiful contrast between the two. I'm also using a paper plate, and that's what I'm going to put my uh, paint on. And then you also need a sharpie and the tin foil. And when you pull the tin foil out, you're going to leave the shiny side down. You're going to actually want to, to uh, draw on the dull side. So what you do using your sharpie is you just trace out like a shape that you want and these are the petals. So first you're going to do a circle and then you're also going to do a petal. You're also going to want some sort of glue, you know, like Mod Podge or Elmer's white glue would work really well, but you don't want to get the glue on the shiny side on the top, just on the underneath. So after you draw out your shapes, you're going to cut them out and then glue on the dull side of them and then you're going to layer them on. Um, something that I noticed is that the ones that looked the best that I've seen have it so that, you know, the circle is kind of off-center. You know, you could do it straight in the center, but it gives it more interest if you kind of push it to a side or, you know, you kind of change it up a little bit. So you, you glue the backing on and then you lay it down, you just smooth it out. And then you keep adding, you know, petals around the outside. And then as you go, you space it out and you add more petals. And I've seen some where they're filled up almost the whole thing. I just decided to make this one smaller. But overall, it's a really great inexpensive project and just adds a little bit of, you know, metallic kind of fun. So this would be really great. You could also do um, different designs if you don't like flowers. So that's kind of a fun way to alter it. But I hope you guys enjoy this dollar decor project. And uh, I have some more coming up, so I, um, please like and subscribe if you like this content. And, you know, leave me a comment down below if you have any questions. Thanks, and see you guys later. Bye!